John Ingram, owner of Nashville SC, talking about Nashville's hopes for an Mills team. Logan Murdoch A rendering shows the proposed Major League Soccer Stadium at the fairgrounds Nashville, photo, submitted slash Hawk Architects. Twelve months ago, some observers considered Nashville a long shot to get a Major League Soccer expansion franchise. Now, they're on the verge of proving doubters wrong by becoming the first from an original list of 12 cities to land a club. It marks quite a feat for lead owner John Ingram, who got a key boost from Mayor Megan Barry and the Metro Council along the way. The league will formally announce the pick on Wednesday at the County Music Hall of Fame. Harry's How Nashville Did It and Why Mills is Coming to Music City Detroit is a significantly larger market. Cincinnati has a successful United Soccer League team that packs the stands. And Sacramento has been on Major League Soccer's radar for years. Each made strong cases, but in the end, Mills Commissioner Don Garber chose Nashville, a city whose skyline is dotted with construction cranes and has fast become an international brand and destination for tourism. Nashville, quite simply, is on fire. The it city status bestowed on Nashville nearly five years ago by the New York Times has stuck. Above all, Mills wanted to cash in on that sort of buzz even if it meant disappointing other cities that had been waiting in line far longer than Nashville. The Nashville skyline glows at sunset May 25, 2017. Nashville is booming the new people who move to Nashville and can afford the rising prices of housing can find a place to live in or near downtown, the heart of economic activity and jobs. Those who cannot are being pushed farther away from their jobs, community networks, social services, and transit options. Photo, George Walker 4 slash The Tennessean. Nashville's ownership group, led by billionaire businessman John Ingram, provided just what the league wanted. When he signed on as controlling owner last December, Ingram, chairman of Ingram Industries Inc., and the son of philanthropist Martha Ingram gave Nashville's bid the direction and financial support of someone with deep ties in the Nashville community whose connections span business, philanthropy, higher education, college athletics, and politics. Most importantly, his involvement left no doubt about the ownership's group financial standing. Photo, submitted, earlier in the process, Nashville businessman Bill Haggerty, now U.S. Ambassador to Japan, got the ball rolling with a steering committee of business and political heavyweights to rally around the team. Behind the scenes, the bid was steered by people who knew how to execute an economic and development deal, Haggerty, former Tennessee Economic and Development Department Chief of Staff Will Alexander and Mark Kate, former Chief of Staff for Gov. Bill Haslam. Nashville had an organized front from the beginning. Comparatively, Sacramento, another front-runner, changed their ownership group as recently as two weeks ago with the addition of Meg Whitman, CEO of Hewlett-Packard Enterprise. Nashville has been in the running for a Mills expansion team.